Explorer tab because there is no projects that are open. Um, you're gonna find those. All right, uh, we're gonna go for create Java project. Here it is. It will ask you which one of those. Uh, each one of those has its own hierarchy. Okay. Uh, each and every one of those is a little bit more complex. You know, you, we need to understand Java first and be strong in it and then follow the, the folder structure of each and every one of those. Uh, I'm going to be uh, choosing the no build tools. So we're going to be creating our own uh, folder hierarchy. So I'm going to choose this. All right. Don't do that here. Don't worry about the NetBeans. I wanted to install NetBeans for you, but it was a bad idea. So um, uh, now we need to select uh, the uh, folder. Uh, all right, so I'm going to go here. This is my folders. Uh, teaching 462. OK, I'm going to install it here in CE 462. That's an old project that uh, I did, uh, that I installed for you. Uh, select the project location. Here it is. All right, let me close that. Here, I'm going to call the project to be library. So we're going to be doing a library project where you can save books, copies of books, uh, borrowers, and so on and so forth. OK, so here is the library. All right, and here. So I, I wrote the name, and then I pressed uh, uh, enter. All right. So you will find those here. This is the hierarchy of the project. You'll find here library, VS Code, forget about this, lib, forget about this, and then SRC, the source, similar to what we have. Uh, the main in NetBeans used to have the same name of the project. Here in Visual Studio Code, you will always find it app.java app.java okay so uh, here is app.java if you open it you will find here code written for you public class app and inside the app you have public static void main the arguments throws exception you will learn about that later don't worry about it and if uh, uh, let's just clear this you so it doesn't confuse you all right, you will learn exceptions anyways in the end, but for now, I'll just, uh, you know, uh, uh, I don't want it to be there now. And then you can run. You come here and see the buttons here. You can go here and run the application. All right, let's run the application and run the debug. Here it runs. I'm sorry, my computer is slow. Here it is. OK. Uh, it ran. It uh, wrote, hello world, right? And that's it, because we still didn't program anything in there. OK. Now, let's go back to the Explorer. And now you can go in the source and add whatever you want. We want to divide our project into um, um, uh, packages as you remember a package uh, is just a folder okay a package is just a folder so we're going to be creating few folders to represent few packages um, uh, uh, this project will have uh, as we uh, talked about it before books uh, borrowers um, so uh, let's start with creating two different um, folders. The first one, I'm going to call it books. Remember that the package name has to be small. So I'm going to call this books. All right, enter. And I'm going to create another one. Just click here so it's inside it. OK, and I'm going to create another one. And I'm going to call it borrower. Okay. Here it is. So inside the, the books, uh, we're going to create some classes. All right. How would you create a class inside book? 
just click on the book as you have seen see how I'm doing now and then go for this button which is a new file okay I'm gonna create this new file and then I'm gonna call it book dot Java okay so now when I created the file you can notice that we have a J but a J uh, icon right uh, in the left of that uh, file name which indicates that it is uh, um, a Java uh, uh, what do you call it um, uh, Java uh, file okay and then you go for the books again and let's create something called copy as an example book copy because the book itself has some information but the copy of it is the actual copy that you go and borrow all right so I'm gonna uh, create another file and I'm gonna call it book copy dot Java all right in the borrower here I'm gonna create a file and I'm gonna create a borrower borrower sorry I misspelled that dot Java of course the architecture of this uh, project is not the best because we still did not uh, study uh, um, inheritance yet when we go for inheritance and the other pillars of object oriented you will enhance your design dramatically and and you will see as soon as we start with inheritance and uh, polymorphism and uh, uh, abstractions and so on you will see how you can use this object oriented concepts to f uh, actually build very complex uh, projects and applications with the minimum code possible so uh, here um, uh, you we have created three files if you go to the borrow as you can see here is public class borrower okay uh, it made it small my bad do you see uh, here because the class is inside the folder borrower see what happens here the uh, uh, package borrower is added by default right because it's inside the borrower uh, i'll change this to be capital of course i can leave it as small but you know let's just make it as borrower as you can see here we have broken the file because the class name has to match exactly the file name this is why i'm gonna come here and i'm gonna rename it here rename I'm gonna put the B to be capital letter all right I did so see it's telling you it has to be borrower.java right um, in fact I think this is gonna be fixed as soon as we let's try to run it Oh, it's a glitch in the application in the extension the same glitch you have seen before in the mid beans right all right for now I'm gonna put it back to be small because I don't wanna waste the time for this but of course I have now to go back that's my bad I should have I should have done it uh, in the beginning I would have made, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna rename this to be rather small my bad I'm sorry the class name uh, so the class name and the file that has the class name have to be capital letters okay language okay All right. now uh, let's 
So a little bit glitchy. Let me, I'll close this, I'll end the file, uh, fix this, and then I'll uh, open it back, okay?